How's it going, Keto Kicks family? We're back with another episode, guys. I didn't get intro from yesterday, so we're shooting it the next day, but you've seen a bunch of new deals from Saturday today in the shop. We got a Saturday steals. We got one, two, three, four, five, six pairs. I'll go through them real quick, but I ain't gonna bore you. Cool Gray 4, 80 bucks. Yeezy 700, 80 bucks. Deadstock Panda Dunk Low, 120 bucks. UNLV Dunk Low, 70 bucks. Almost brand new, New Balance 550, 35 bucks. Yeezy Slide Azure, 80 bucks. Last but not least, guys, we got a Supreme T size medium for 40. So if you guys don't know, Saturday steals are every Saturday at Kino Kicks. The only time we don't do them is online. So you have to be in person. You have to pull up. There's no holds. Let's see what we get into, guys, today. I don't know how much I try to look and go how much they're for, but nothing. Nothing. Yeah. These go for like. Like, like 140 or 160 use for sure. Box. For sure. Box, like 120. For sure. How much you looking for? Around that. Let me see what I can do for sure. How much on the fours? Uh, I don't know, bro. I, okay. I, I try to look. I swear, I try to look online, sure. but nothing really pops up for these. These are the uh, wild things. Yeah, the wild things. Yeah, I got these like. So I seen two pairs selling eBay used for 120, um, one for 160, but they were like almost brand new. How much would you want to get out of these ones? Like a bill too. Bill. Yeah, you could both make the bill for both. Store credit if you can. Store credit. So store credit, I don't have a problem doing uh doing 90 on these ones. Um, these ones I probably hold off on. Just kind of hard to sell like the size seven. Mm -hmm. um grade school use jordan fours are really hot right now you know that obviously but um if you want to take a look around i could maybe squeeze 100 depending on what you want to get you know what i'm saying um i don't know if we got anything you really want right now but if anything we could always do like uh like 80 cash or something like that so sure. right got some shoes too bro that's what you want my fire cord okay for sure look for cash or credit on these guys cash. how much you looking for them two So we usually sell these ourselves for around like 150, 160. Um, are you pretty firm at 200? Or? Yeah, bro. Firm? Yeah, okay. Um, it might just be a little too far off on this pair right, um, right now. If you do see something you want to trade for, I could maybe try to see if I give you a little more. Uh, cash, I'd probably be at like 100, 110. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Right, I'm Take your time, boss. Yeah. yeah. Take your time. Just kind of seeing what I could do for this stuff. Yeah. Okay. White Sox, yes, sir. I had some hats too, but I didn't know. Okay. They fitted? Uh, what do you prefer? I got fitteds usually. Yeah. People usually like that. I didn't bring one with me. No, you're true. That was, that was my addiction to shoes. Right? Hats? I got a big hat collection myself. <laughs> Well, at least sport, huh? Sheesh. How many pairs of shoes you got? What's that? How many pairs you got, I think? Right now? Mm-hmm. I like 32. Sheesh. I just started, too, bro. Like, I had a I had a pretty crazy collection. And, uh, yeah, it was like 60. And then I sold half of them. Um, <laughs> I just, I don't know. Yeah, it's a lot. Now I got about 20, so. <laughs> but you got deep, though? Yeah, decent. I like OG stuff. I'm a sucker for ones. Hell yeah. I'm trying to get ones, though. Got you. So this one I'll probably take for like 10. It's Robert. Henderson. 
high five on this guy. So these two, two, I'd probably be a five just because it's a lot of, pretty hard to probably sell these ones. Yeah. Um, but the crew neck, the Hornets one, I'd take for 10 as well. Because that one's pretty fire. You thrifted that guy? Or? Uh, I mean, it was gifted to me. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. I'm just trying to find somebody to buy these shoes. For sure. And how much are you looking for on these guys? Uh, Wizards? Yeah, I got like 180. 180, yeah. okay. So that'd be a little bit hard for us, um, just being a used pair. Yeah. Usually we sell these used for around 140 to 150 ourselves. Oh, yeah. So it might be a little far off. I wouldn't want to, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know if you'd want to hear the offer. If not, it's totally up to you. Um, we'd probably be right around 100 on these guys. 100? Yeah. If you want to hang on to them? Yeah. Totally, okay. For <laughs> sure, for sure. Appreciate Thank you, boss. Uh, yeah. If you want to look around, feel free to. All right, Kino Kick Sandwich. We just had the homies slid through. They gave us some really, really good prices, and we grabbed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pairs off of them. They didn't want to be recorded, so we got to totally respect that, but there's some really cool dudes, and I appreciate the deal. Um, we got a size 11 and a half brand new Jordan Fort Thunder for 170 bucks, guys. 180, I'm sorry. Jordan 1 UNC Toe, size 12 dead stock for 170 bucks. A DS size 13 Jordan 11 Cherry for $210. I really like the cherries. Let me know in the comments, guys. Do you guys like the cherries? I think they're a clean shoe. Some people have uh, mixed opinions on them. And then we also grabbed these size 12 Jordan 13s for 50 Size 11, you guys have seen these a million times. Panda Dunks for $80, brand new. So that was a good price as well. We also grabbed a Jordan 12 Taxi. Super, super clean. Maybe worn one time size 12 for 70 bucks um and then this is a really good one i like size 14 guys so if you guys are big boys out there you got some big feet size 14 nike dunk low san francisco for 180 bucks guys and then this is a pair that people don't really like i don't like them personally i like arizona state they're a good team uh but size 13 nike dunk low arizona states for 40 bucks and then last but not least we got one more size 13 and it's kind of cool to get size 13 in because we don't sell a lot of these um these are called something mars i'm not sure if it's son of mars dunk of mars um but size 13 for 40 bucks two guys as well so appreciate the deal guys we got some work to do and we'll get back to you later okay you were trying to do a trade or just cash okay for sure do you have any prices that you think were fair on these guys? Uh, nah. No. No? I don't really know, like, much. Bottom, yeah. for sure. You just wear them because you like them. Respect it. For sure. Do you know what the new balances are called, or? Uh, I could search it up, if anything. So these kind of like go for like 60, 40. For sure. I probably take them for like 20. For sure. um, these I could do a little bit better on. St. John's. I'm cool with 70 on these if you are. Um, these are probably at 40. So, 130 credit. Want to take a look around? Yeah. For sure. Take your time, boss. Yeah. Been busy? Very busy, for sure. A couple puffers? Yeah. Just start credit? Or? Yeah, pretty much. For sure, for sure, for sure. How flexible are you? Yeah. Yeah, flexible, yeah. I'm going to take a few. Yes, sir. Work something out. Hell yeah. All the, the off whites? Yeah. Hell yeah. How much are you asking on these? 30 bow. 30 bow. This is a kid's one? That's like a men's one. Oh, uh, kids? Yeah. Okay. So the kids I'll probably pass on. Um, I'll take this one for 10 or if you want. Yeah. T-Rex. 
to them. The kids is going to be super hard for me, so that's the only thing. Um, I'll do 10 for just this one if you wanted to. I have to get 15. 15? Yeah. I just want it because I would literally just do that. Yeah, for free. Yeah, I'll probably pass then. Like, I'll see what else we go work out or something 12. like that. Yeah. 12, cool? Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Take yeah, this one. Out. Yeah, no, no, no. So I actually, funny story about this guy, SneakerCon. Uh, I was at SneakerCon, and they were looking at my table and stuff, and they were like, the guy, I guess I wasn't there at the time, my buddy was there. He's like, had the owner come by and check us out, and they seen how much I sold on eBay, and they gave me the free, uh, a free, uh, oh, nice. yeah. <laughs> this one's kind of hard, right? Yeah. How much you want on this one? Eight. Okay. Two X. Yeah, yeah, we're at 20. Jordy. Yeah, you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Let me just take care of my free. Yeah. That works for me. Got this one too, boys? Yeah. All right, Kino Kick Sammy. So our audio was a little messed up here. The mic for some reason cut out, so I'm going to go over with you what we grabbed these for. He ended up having this super, super cool Jordy Nelson jersey. Um, we scooped this guy for 10 bucks, guys. Something we'll, we'll be able to double our money on. I think it's pretty cool to have some Jordy Nelson gear in the shop just because he's a retired wide receiver. Um, next, you'll see he'll have this early, say, Y2K Packers crew neck. I think we grabbed this guy for $5 on the top of my head. Yes, it was $5. Pretty cool. Nice little piece. Um, and then he had this early 90s Packers shirt you'll see on the table right now. We ended up scooping this guy for 7 bucks, guys. Nice little logo 7 piece. Something I really enjoy is the logo 7 pieces. Not a lot of people are uh, really too hyped on them, but I think they're really cool. And it's something I enjoy having in the shop. Logo 7, starter, anything along them lines I think is really, really cool. Right now we're debating um, what the number and what the price is for all of it. You can see it's kind of common kind of tease right there, but we ended up finding out and figuring out what it was. Um, sometimes you're just having too much fun. You can't really figure out what the total price is for all of it together. Next, he has this early 90s. I shouldn't say early. I'll say 1995 2XL knitted Packers crew neck, guys. You ended up copping this one for $3, which I thought was a really, really good price. Yes, it's a 2XL. But for 15 bucks in the shop, I think it'll sell really quick for us. Now, this is the last TV grab. Something we were uh, we weren't arguing over, but he wanted five dollars at first. I told him I didn't really want it. So you'll see me kind of observing this guy. I'm not really sure what I want to do with it yet. But we ended up coming to the um, to the terms and the agreement of one dollar for this Badgers T-shirt, guys. See I, what I said in the video. You'll see me laughing. And I said. You can't even get a cheeseburger at McDonald's for a dollar. So I said, I'll take a vintage sheet for a dollar. I'll take a chance on it. Even if it sits up for a while, it's a dollar, guys. And where'd you get these, guys? Oh, uh, I got these for Christmas a couple of Okay, days. for sure. And how much are you looking for on them? Um, I don't really have a price in mind. Okay, just Maybe seeing what we could do. Credit. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Just in the condition, we'd probably be around 90 credit. 90 credit. Mm -hmm. Or if you got something else you think in mind, you know what I mean? You could see. Or if you see something you like, maybe we could work something out. Yeah. You said the bottom one, you don't know what they are? Yeah. Okay. I might know. Might know. Those things? Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> the very first pair ever. That's awesome, though. We will pass on these ones. I do like the shoelaces, though. Some Air Maxes. Mm -hmm. All right, Kino Cake Sandler. I forgot to get an outro for this video. I'm extremely sorry for that. So we're doing it the next day after. We had a really, really good weekend in the shop today, guys. Um, yesterday, I'm sorry. We had a really, really good day in the shop the last two days. Today's Sunday. The Bills Chiefs going on. Um, but you guys will see that the next day after, guys. Um, but we had a really, really good day, man. Um, 
We sold a lot of pairs and we bought a lot of pairs. And we even sold a heater today, Sunday. We sold a pine green off-white uh, dunk that you guys will see we bought in the last video. So appreciate all the support, guys. We're going to try to come back with some more YouTube and some more bangers for you guys. With that being said, we're out.